enjoy setting a beautiful table, maybe creating a beautiful tablescape, or even incorporating beautiful napkin rings. Have you ever tried making your own napkin ring? Well, today I'm taking part in a collaboration with two wonderful YouTube creators who I've had the opportunity to create with on uh, one or two other occasions. Today, I'll be collaborating with Jody from Southern Seasons and Antoinette from Decorating Ants Place. I planned to collaborate with these two wonderful creators back in the summer. I had um, asked them if they would be interested in doing a summer DIY napkin ring collaboration and then my dog ended up getting sick. Um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Pandas, but my poor little dog, who you guys have seen in one or two of my videos. Um, got Panis and she just had some other issues and poor little thing, she's not the healthiest dog. So, and then it was just one thing right after the other as that's how things usually go. So I asked them if they would mind um, postponing till the fall and of course they were both absolutely understanding and fine with that. So now the time has come and we are going to make napkin rings and they're going to be fall inspired napkin rings and I'm not sure what my friends are doing if they are going to do tablescapes or table settings, but I'm really excited. I have no idea what they're making, but I know it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So I hope that after you watch me make my tape, or I'm sorry, make my napkin rings and then show you how I am going to use them, I hope that you'll stop over and visit both of their channels. So, I'm really excited to start, so let's get creating. When I'm making DIY napkin rings, I always like to start by using a shower hook. And this is a really nice way to start my holder because this is an inexpensive way. You can buy these at Walmart, you can buy it at Target, you can buy them at the Dollar Tree, pretty much anywhere that sells shower items or bath items you can find these inexpensive shower hooks. But what you always want to remember to do is make sure that the little hook is fastened because otherwise that might cause you a headache later on. And I've made different napkin rings over the years, but for this napkin ring, I'm going to cover it with twine because this is going to be really nice and rustic look for fall. And this is just the number 72 of the jute cord and it's the one pound roll and I believe I bought this at it was either Walmart or it might have even been Hobby Lobby but I'm just gonna unroll some of this I'm not sure exactly how much I'm gonna need to start with I can always go back and cut some more off if I need it but I don't want to be working with too much because that can kind of become a little bit of a headache if you have too much and then it kind of gets knotted up a little bit but what you want to do when you start is just apply a small dab of hot glue and just be careful you don't burn yourself <laughs> because hot glue can get very hot. So I'm just going to give that just a second to just cool down a little bit so that ought to be good. And then all you're going to do is just continue to wrap this the whole way around. And if you want, you can, um, every few wraps, you can apply a dot of hot glue. That's what I usually like to do, just to reinforce it a little bit. But I won't show you wrapping this the whole way because I think that once I am starting to demonstrate it, you're gonna get the idea of what you need to do. So I'm just gonna wrap a few more here. I'm gonna apply a little dab of glue. Right there. And I'll continue to wrap. And usually whenever I use this number of jute twine, I don't need to go back and do another row over top of this. One is usually enough. 
And as you can see, I'm just trying to really get those nice and tight. That way you won't see any of the shower hook. And that's why also using the clear ones is really nice because then with whatever you're wrapping it with, it's not going to show from underneath. Just a little bit more. So I think you have the idea of what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and finish wrapping this and then I'll show you how it looks. And this is how it looks after it's all wrapped with the jute twine. And what I also like to do just so that the ends of the jute twine don't fray, I just like to take, oops, I got some hot glue hanging there. I just like to take and just put a little dab right where the jute twine ends, not a whole lot, just a little bit, and just kind of rub it around there a little bit. And if that doesn't work, if you can't really apply it very good with your hot glue gun, just take a toothpick and just kind of spread it around just a little bit. And this is on the underneath and you're not going to see this at all. Now I'll show you what I'm planning to make as far as my decoration. So this is a really cute idea that I'm going to try for these napkin rings. What I'm going to do is just cut two of these off from this one. Two of these, and these are just from the Dollar Tree. And you can get some really beautiful floral from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take one of the cattails off. I'm going to use two of these little wee flower stems. I just think they're so adorable. And I'm trying to cut down as far to the base of my branch as I can. Because I need just a little bit of length at the bottom here of these. And then I'm just going to use one of these. They almost look like a little mum, and I think that's what they are. Yep, they are. It says right on the tag. Geez, if I would just read, right? <laughs> there we go. So now what I'm going to do is just group these all together. And I'm going to make a little miniature bouquet. I think that will be such a pretty little idea to use for a napkin ring. I've never tried doing this before for a napkin ring, but whenever I started thinking about this, collaboration I this is the this is where my mind was going I just thought that this would tie in so nice next what I'm gonna do is just take some of this floral tape and I'm gonna wrap it around the stems and I don't want to start with a whole lot wow it's really raining outside oh my goodness if you can hear that it's the rain I'm looking out my sliding glass doors and oh wow it is really raining so I just want to try to get this as tight as I can and I don't know if you've ever used floral tape but it is really nice you don't have to wet it or glue it it just sticks to itself the wax is warmed by your fingers and it's just really nice to work with so I'm just wrapping this as tightly as I can and I'm not going to cover the ends of the stems I'm going to leave a little bit of that exposed and I'll show you then what I'm going to do after this And if you cut too much, you can just, well, I did it before I was ready to. You can just cut that off. And you can see it's sticking to itself. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of this quarter inch twine. And I don't need a very big piece, but maybe about like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie it in the back for now. I don't want to cut the ends off. 
So I'm just gonna tie that like that. And the one side, I'm just going to start wrapping. And you don't have to make this beautiful, you just wanna wrap. And then what you're gonna do is just tie these ends off. Once you get it all wrapped up how you want it, you're just gonna tie that off. I was hoping I wouldn't need any extra, but I actually do. I'm going to have to add a little piece for what I wanna do next, but that's all right. So I'll go ahead and cut these two ends off now. And then I'll cut an extra little piece. So now what I'm going to do is just tie a cute little bow just here at the bottom. Or I'm sorry, right at the top. Kind of wants to slide around a little bit. That's okay. And you can make your bow as big or as little as you want. I'm just gonna tie that in a knot just to kinda of keep it from coming undone. I think that's good. And if you wanna double knot it, you can just to keep it from coming untied, but you don't have to. So now what I'm gonna do is just cut these a little bit. I'm not gonna cut them very short because I'll show you what I'm gonna do. And what I wanna do is just pull these ends of the twine apart just a little bit. And then that way, it's gonna give it a more worn look, just a more, I don't know, aesthetic look maybe. Just, just a little bit of attention to detail, you know, just sometimes just the littlest things that you can add or do make the biggest difference. So now I'll attach this to the ring. And I always like to find the center of where my shower hook is connected. And that's where I like to attach my decoration. So I'm just gonna attach a little bit of and I apologize, my hot glue gun is about out of glue. There we go. I'm just gonna apply a small drop of hot glue. And then I'm just going to add my pretty bouquet. And that's how it's gonna look whenever it's finished. I think that is so pretty. Now I'll show you how it looks at my table setting. So when I'm decorating, I really like to think outside the box. And whenever I started thinking about this table setting and how I wanted it to look, none of my existing chargers that I have were just calling out to me. I wasn't happy with any of them. So I started looking around and couldn't really find much of what I was interested in. And I kind of had an idea of the look that I was going for, just like, you know, whenever I was thinking about how I wanted my napkin rings to look. So the placemats that I'm using are from Walmart, and I really like these because they almost have a burlap look to them, almost like a jute twine. So I think they're really nice, and they're gonna give me a lot of texture. And next what I'm going to use for my charger because I just couldn't find any that I was really liking or that were calling to me and I really like to think outside the box. So I found these and these are just so cute you guys and I love it. They're just like an old rustic looking wood and these are actually just um, like craft uh, plaques that you could just buy to use to decorate with maybe just to make like a sign and I just thought this is so different and I wanted to give it a try so these are what I'm using for my chargers 
And whenever I get tired of them, if I don't want to keep using them as a charger, I can just craft with them. And they did come attached to a cord for hanging and I am just tucking that up in so that you can't even see that. And the plates that I'll be using are these beautiful ones that I shared on one of my hauls in the spring. And of course, they were from Goodwill. And I'm going to use a plain green bread plate. And I have these amber colored bowls and I think these are so beautiful. I also have a larger bowl that could be used for either salad or fruit. Or maybe even some soup would be perfect for in these. And the glasses that I'll be using are these beautiful amber colored glasses that I found at Goodwill. And I'm going to keep the silverware placement very casual for this setting because this isn't a fancy table setting, although it is very beautiful. I'm just wanting to keep it very casual because my family and I will eat sometimes even dinner here. We have breakfast here, so it's just gonna stay very casual. And for the beautiful napkin rings that I made, I just used a harvest yellow or maybe like a harvest gold colored napkin. And for this setting, I chose to not use a beautiful centerpiece because I felt that by using the napkin rings and the wooden boards, I felt that those were statement pieces on their own, that it didn't need anything else. And before I forget, I just wanted to add, in case you've seen me miss adding that one spoon to the one place setting, I did go back and add that spoon. So that's it for my video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. And as I always say, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!